Oh yeah, guys, this is MM1 Benita. So I just recently moved here in San Diego, California because I'm done with my recruiting duty. So if you have any questions about um, recruiting process, you can contact your Navy recruiter. If you're a veteran or prior service, you can reach out to your local prior service recruiter. Um, in this video, I will talk about a you know my my primary job in the Navy, which is being an engineer. So I am MM1. So MM1 stands for Machinist Mate First Class. Um, so if you're from any branch of service, you know E1 through through E9, and then if you're E3, you know that's the point that you need to choose to strike to a specific rate, or else you're not you're not gonna make the advance to become an E4 if you have no rate. Of course, and then um, in my job, you know, being a conventional MM is different from a nuclear machinist mate or uh, MM in the submarines because there's different types of MM. But if you're conventional MM, the task that we usually do uh, is operate and we maintain or troubleshoot main propulsion, main propulsion systems or auxiliary system. Main propulsion systems includes boiler, um, the aerator, uh, engines, the turbine engines. And if you're dealing with auxiliary equipment, of course it's gonna be air conditioning equipment, water heaters, elevators, steering gear, anchor windows, winches, hydraulics, and so on. And then if you're asking me uh, what was my favorite experience uh, being an engineer. So I was stationed in Japan first before recruiting duty. So I did three years over there in Japan. So that for me, the most memorable experience over there is during sea and anchor detail. Because um, whether it may be in the steering gear room or anchor windows, it's exciting you know, to know that you're gonna be part of um, helping the ship pulling in or pulling out from the port, you know, standing by and, you know, you wait for instruction. And then if you're asking what are the certifications that you can get if you're a machinist mate in the United States Navy. So there's two uh, certifications that you can get. It might be coming from the Department of Labor. It, we call it US Maps. And then the other ones, of course, you can get like uh, certifications or credentials from the Navy Cool, because like if you go to their website, NavyCool.com, they have a lot of certs. But if you're trying to get a U.S. Map certification, they have certain requirements that you need to meet. So uh, one number one, you need to be NAC duty or a reservist in the military. Number two, you have at least one year left on your contract. Number three, you need to have. Let me see. You must be a high school graduate or you must have your GED. And then your number four, your job must be from your current occupation, like specific job that you're doing. And then five, um, you need to complete the required classroom training or you know on the, job, on the job training that they require for that specific credential. And then number six, that credential that you're trying to to get needs to be for your primary specialty, your primary rate, whatever your primary job um, in the Navy or in whatever branch you're from, and then it can't be your collateral. So I will be discussing um, some of the certs that you can get for MMs, and along with how many required training hours they need to, you know. So there are different types of certification you can get for being a machinist mate in the Navy. So you can be a boilermaker and document 6,000 hours of your training or experience. And you can get also the other ones, computer operator. It depends if you're doing the job and they approve you for your um, application. And of course, don't forget to like document and record the number of hours every time, like weekly, monthly, and semi-annually. That's it.
So that's it guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or inquiries, just leave a comment below. Thank you again for watching.